What is happening, everybody? Curdy B here, and welcome to part 13 of our second attempt at our Pokemon Sacred Gold Hardcore Nuzlocke. In our last episode, we managed to just keep getting our, those Kanto Gym badges, and we got another three. And we're going to hopefully get our last three uh, in this run there. So we got the Sabrina uh, for the Marsh badge in Saffron. We've got Blaine on Cinefar Cinebar Island, or oh, in this game, it's Seafoam Islands now. And finally, Blue in Viridian City. Uh, if, we enough, if we have enough time and these valves go quick enough there, we also might be able to take on red and Mount Silver. But we'll see how we get on. But first of all, we're going to get uh, hopefully get our 14th badge here. And here's the team we've brought with us to the Psychic Type Gen in order to get this done. So we're going to lead off with Wild Turkey, our Staraptor, holding the Choice Band with Reckless, with Brave Bird, Double Edge, Agility, and Aerial Ace. We got Jerry R. Sharpedo holding the Muscle Band with Taunt, Protect, Waterfall, and Crunch. Switch that about there. Thank you. Iron Bree Extra R. Magnezone holding the Choice Scarf with Discharge, Mirror Shot, Magnet Rise, and Signal Beam. White Lady R. Executor holding the Big Root with Solar Beam, Sleep Powder, Leech Seed, and Giga Drain. Just switch that there. Bud Light R. Giraffe Rig holding the Spooky Plate with Psychic, Shadow Ball, Baton Pass, and Flash. And finally, we brought Liquid with us, our Beautifly, just because it's a uh, bug flying and it's very useful against some of these other Pokemon here. Uh, I, th I believe this thing is buffed. It's, it's massive special attack there. It's Rival and Giraffe Rig for special attack, and it's been buffed as well, so that's fine. All the choice specs with Silver Wind, Giga Drain, Earth Slash, and Bug Buzz. Let me just put those two moves there, and there we go. So, this will be straightforward enough there. So, Sabrina is going to lead off with. Uh, Gallade and Strapter should just be able to obliterate that with a Reckless boosted, Choice Band boosted Brave Bird. So there's the Gallade, and we're just going to Brave Bird this thing into the next dimension. Already Dragon Ball Z reference there. <laughs> I'll send you to another dimension. There we go. Some recoil, we don't mind that though. Uh, Mr. Mime next. Uh, you know what? Your frail's all fuck. I'm just gonna stand here and just Brave Bird you to exist non existence as well. It's Choice Banded Reckless Boosted Brave Bird. It should. This thing's paper thin defense and very low HP. It should die. There we go, I'll take that, yep. Two down, only half half health down on Wild Turkey, that's fine. Hypno, now you might be slightly stronger. Uh, so I'm going to go into Jerry for you. On the Psychic. That's fine. And we're going to Protect. Get that speed boost and crunch with muscle band should take it out. Very nice. I imagine it's going to be Metacham in next because it has the. Uh, I think it has high jump kick actually, so I'm going to protect. Metacham has high jump kick, Zen headbutt, fake out, and bullet punch. Might fake out actually. Figure it should still be fine though. I'm going to protect here in case it wants to high jump kick. Yeah, very good. That's half health gone. Um, I don't think I'm not going to risk staying in here. So I'm going to go into liquid. We quarter just the high jump kick, even though it's got huge power. That should still, we should still live that. Wow, there's a lot for quad resistance. And I'm just going to bug buzz here. That's fine.
Alakazam, uh, what do you have? You've got Psychic, Calm Mind, Focus Blast, and Signal Beam. So it's probably what I want a Psychic here. It's the strongest move. Based on that, I'm going to go into Jerry. So if I can't mind or use Psychic, we're fine. Yep. Uh, protect. Um, we'll crunch take it out there. So what's left is Wobbuffet. And that's is, this is why we've given Taunt to Jerry. So we can Taunt so it can't use any of its moves. Wobbuffet comes in. And let's go to taunt so it can't do anything to us, and then just crunch it to death. Uh, what? What the fuck? What? How, how can you use counter? I taunted you. Hold on, does taunt not stop counter and miracle? When? I thought Taunt stopped all. Unless you're using a direct attacking move. It should stop that? Don't tell me that Miracote and Counter are classes like attacking moves. Ah, oh, shit. I can't switch out too. It's got Shadow Tag. Nope. Oh, balls. What do I do here now? The PP stall. Until there's no counters left. I don't know how much counter thing it has. I'm going to protect as well. Yeah, we're doing this here. Yeah, we have the PP stall, the counters. I do need a safeguard, bell end. How much PP does Counter have? I must be out of it now. Fine. Great. Excellent. Whoa! That was lucky. Uh, okay. Note to self. Note that for later um, things. Yeah. Con Taunt does not stop Mercoat and does not stop Counter. Okay. Duly noted. Give me your Marsh badge, fucking psychic. Biatch. It's a Carmine. Skull swap. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. Don't think I'll use anything. Head over to Sea Foam Islands. Take everyone want there. Yeah. Save me an honest see in terms of encounters as well. There's nothing really I need anymore in terms of you know useful encounters. If any, I'll check the doctors. Anything I really really use, I'll, I'll take. But honestly, I'm just going to try and skip through and get get this done now. So onwards to see if I'm willing to take on Blaine then for our fifteenth um, badge. Alrighty, so we made our way through the sea foam islands, and we're going to take on Blaine to get our. Oh, let's just change those level caps again there, sorry. So we have 14 badges. This will hopefully be badge 15, and it's level cap of 68. Thank you very much. Okay, so hopefully get our 15th badge here, and here's a team we're going to use to hopefully take down Blaine and his fire-type Pokemon. So, 
We're going to lead off with uh, Dirty Water or Hapoidon, holding the Quick Claw, because uh, it has the ability Sandstream, which will be very useful for combating the sunny days uh, as well. Earthquake, Crunch, Sand Tomb, and Strength. We'll bring with us Kurs or Kingler, holding the Choice Scarf, with Waterfall and Super Power, Crush, Claw, and Protect. WKD Blue or Kingdra, holding the Choice Specs with uh, Sniper, Dragon Breath, Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, and Surf. Let me just put the Surf on there. Cordial are Polyrath, holding the Muscle Band, with Waterfall, Drain Punch, Hydro Pump, and Close Combat. Crowd Juice are Slowbro, holding the Focus Sash, with Psychic, Surf, Rain Dance, in case we need it, and Slack Off. And finally, Evian are Gyarados, holding the Choice Band, with Aqua Tail, Crunch, Waterfall, and Ice Fang. So hopefully this is straightforward enough. And here we go. So, the plan for the initial, we're going to set up sand. We're hoping then that's going to force the Rapidash to use Sunny Day. And we're going to Earthquake to kill it. If we get a Quick Claw in, that's even better. But imagine then this will hopefully for force the Rapidash in using Sunny Day. And we can get a free kill with the Earthquake. Yep, that's fine. We don't care about that there. Earthquake should take this out. And then it's just a matter of who comes in next, because uh, I imagine it's going to be something with Solar Beam. Could be Nine Tails, could be Macargo, um, could be Karaka. Everything has Solar Beam here. The only thing that don't have Solar Beam is Arcanine, so it could be anything coming in here right now. So there's Nine Tails, so it's going to set up a Sun with Drought. So what I'm going to do now is. I'm going to go into WKD Blue because it is going to want a solar beam here. We can take that. We should be able to take that okay. It's fine. I'm going to switch immediately back into Dirty Water. Just put up the, the sand again. This means the solar beam will take two turns. That's fine. Uh, again, we're gonna go back into WKD Blue on this solar beam. It should not be weaker because it's in the rain, or sorry, in the sand. Unless you get a crit, of course. So I'm going to stay in here and just surf. That's fine because you're going to take two turns anyway. That's a free kill. Choice specs, which should kill nine tails. Nice. We're gonna leave the ten one comes out next here. Like mortar. Um, what do you want to do here? My mortar has lava plume, overheat, thunderbolt, and solar beam. It might want a thunderbolt here. In that case, I'm going straight back into dirty water. It's fine. And. It's going to want to overheat here, isn't it? In that case, I'm going to go into Curse. I think this is the right play. You should be able to survive an overheat.
Wow. Okay. Okay, right. That was my choice. Scarf for one. That's gonna be shit. Uh, what do I do now? Okay. Has to be cordial now. And waterfall. Maybe we have to just take this. Don't paralyze. Thank you. I can't believe that overheat killed. Kingler, one shot. That's fine. Oh, of course we got burn. Oh no, we've got sand and we got burn damage. Shit. No, 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 uh, what are you going to now? There we are. Why is this harder than it has to be? That's fine, we'll just one shot this camera up. That's a ball egg. I'm probably going to another poly, poly wrath if I need it now. Why? Sick. I'm fairly certain I, I haven't gotten, I haven't really been getting any encounters. I'm sure, I'm sure I can get a polywag from somewhere. I'll save it needed. There's only two more fights left in the game anyway. In the dirty water on the Thunderfang. I want Earthquake. Ah, oh, that's lucky. <laughs> this should take it out. Nice. Nice crit. We'll take that. And my car, I think the last one's my cargo, so uh, I, yeah, I think it should be faster and I can hit it with one shot with an earthquake. Yep. Yeah, it's a shame. We lost. Who did we lose there? We lost. Um, I mean, we haven't really used Kingner at all. I was really only brought for this fight, so that's not a big loss. But another Polyrath down. <laughs> I'll check the documents. I'm certain. I'm certain. I'm fairly certain there's a, I can get another Polywag from somewhere. We'll see who the next fights are. There we go. There's our uh, 15th badge. So we'll just be then taking on blue now. And getting the 16th badge. Overheat. There we go. On to Cinnabar Island to get blue. And then on the Viridian City to fight him. Already, so we made our way across to Viridian City and we're going to take on Blue to get our final Kanto badge and our 16th badge overall. So Blue has a very diverse, diverse team and not just uh, any particular type. So we brought these guys with us, all going well, who are going to get us through this. So we're leading off with Bud Light, our draft rig, holding the choice specs with Psychic Shadow Ball, Baton Pass and Flash. Iron Brew Extra are Magnazone holding the King's Rock with Discharge, Mirror Shop, Magnet Rise, and Signal Beam. You've got Liquid or, or what do you call it, the Beautifly, who's being used in the next couple, last couple of fights, which is very handy. Uh, holding a Choice Scarf with Air Slash, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, and Silver Wind. Avion or Gardos holding the Choice Band with Aqua Tail, Crunch, Waterfall, and Ice Fang. Tequila or Ludicolo holding the Miracle Seed with Giga Drain, Teeter, Teeter Dance, uh, Rain Dance, and Surf. And finally, Crystal Head or Marowak, who we went and got the Thick Club for, uh, who has the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, 
it's a girl it's the lady in uh golden raw gives you the Pokemon specific items, so like Thick Club, Lucky Punch, Stick, that kind of thing. So we went and got our Marowak, kind of like a Thick Club, uh, with Earthquake, Strength, Sing, and Power Song, and crucially it has that Battle Armor, so we cannot get Critical Hit. So here we go. Hopefully we can get past Blue there, and then there's only one fight left for Red in Mount Silver. So, Blue leads off with his Needle Queen, so we're, we're leading off with Giraffe Rig to hopefully one-shot with a Choice Specs Psychic. We're definitely faster. <laughs> so this should hopefully one-hit KO. So no Toxic Spikes or anything. Finally, yeah, that's good. But an R weight there for that HP bar. This Gen 4 is so slow. <laughs> it really, really is. Terranitar, okay, so we can't stay in at all because we're totally locked into Psychic or to Sandstream. So, for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into Evion to get an Intimidate off. Probably going to crunch here. We can take that off of the Intimidate, hopefully. That's all right. Defense drop. Um, we're going now. We're going to switch into Crystal Head on the I imagine Stone Edge, and again we cannot get critical hit, so this will be minus one Stone Edge. Should do very little. That doesn't more than I thought it would. We should be faster, so Earthquake hopefully takes it out. There we go. It's a thick club. I uh, imagine should be one hit KO. Oh, it's not? Right, okay. We should be able to survive Crunch though again. We can't get critical hit that it's minus one, so we're fine. That's right, and we'll just Earthquake finish it off. Loot. Nice. Garados in. So we're going to switch. It's going to want an Aqua Tail here. So we're going to switch to Tequila. Why would you bounce? Right, okay. So I'm gonna go into, the plan was to do this in the Iron Brew here. Uh, there's the bounce. Please don't paralyze me. I should have given, why did I give you a fucking, what do you call it? Um, what you call it? King's Officer give you a cherry berry. Okay, so this thing wants to Earthquake now, so I'm going to go into Tequila, because I want to get the rain, I want to get rain up here to get rid of this sand. It's fine. So it should want to bounce again here, and I'm going to use that, up take that opportunity to Rain Dance. That gets rid of that gets rid of the sand. And we're gonna go into Iron Brew here on the bounce. A 
that's fine and we're going to discharge let's just take our Gyarados Up here that's fine so it wants to earth quick here so we're going to go straight in tequila on the earthquake and because there's no sand anymore right up here special defense has nerfed so we should be able to, to kill it with giga drain or if rain continues to fall i'm going to surf I'll one hit KO it definitely in the rain. Definitely. Yep. So the Executor is left, Machamp is left. There's Machamp. <laughs> so. I want to get Bud Light in, but I don't want it to be on a Dynamic Punch, so I'm going to go into Evian here, get an Antenna drop off on the Dynamic Punch. There we go. That's fine, I'm going to switch back out. Because I was going to want to probably stone edge here, so we need to make sure we do not get critical hit. Please don't critical hit us here. Please don't crit. Perfect. Psychic. That should take that out. And then the final put one is Executor, and we'll just switch in Beautifly for that, and bug buzz that into non existence. There we go. So Executor, please try to attack me. Don't do anything else but try to attack me here. You may want to try and set up Trick Room but uh, an or Sleep Powder. Hope it does neither. Please attack me. Perfect, we win. There's so much damage for quad resist. Uh, Bug Buzz will kill. There we go. Happy days. That's all of our Kanto badges. Uh, only one fight left. Rock climb. I think we do need that for a thing. There we go. There's one fight left. What's our time? We're on 20 minutes. Yeah, I reckon we're going to go take on Red now. We're going to make our way through Mount Silver and take on Red. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. We had a problem. So, full disclosure. I finished the fight with Red. I won. Please believe me. I did win. I'm not just saying that and I lost and I'm trying to Make it look like I did. I genuinely beat Red. However, I thought I was recording it, and I hadn't. For those of you who don't know, I use a program called OBS Studio in order to record my vids, uh, my playthroughs. And these, I normally just pause the game, go on to the next part, then resume recording as I go in between, you know, states on the game itself now beside the pause there's stop recording and I've done it a couple of times in the past where I've stopped recording my mistake and I had to go back and redo a section of a game so it's not that's not um, the first time it's happened however what usually doesn't happen is autosave so whenever you beat red uh, and he teleports away or whatever 
the game automatically saves. So I recorded everything, or thought thought I recorded everything, had done it all, um, done the whole thing. So uh, I'll go through the recap of how the fight went, but it saved. So when I loaded up again, then realized that though I hadn't recorded the last part, I can't go back. <laughs> so as far as yeah, in this game, the only way to fight Red again, you have to go through the Elite Four again, and then you have to um, refight Red. Now I will do it at some point, but I'm not going to do it right now. I genuinely can't be arsed going through all that again right now. So, and I didn't do any saves either. For whatever reason, with this particular um, hack, save state was causing problems when I was then having to then go back through and there was the screen was black or wouldn't let me go through a few things. So I just started saving normally. Because I haven't, I didn't save state either, <laughs> I couldn't go back to re-record this. So it's a bit of a nuisance. Um, I'm sure you're like, oh no, you lost. And you're just trying to figure it out there. If I lost, I'll tell you I lost. If I lost, I'll just be honest and say, look, I have got beaten. I'll have to try again. Um, just for the record's sake, here's the team I did bring with me. Uh, was White Lady Choice Specs uh, holding uh, White Lady the Executor, uh, Giga Drain Sleep Powder, Lead Seed Solar Beam. Where's the ribbon though? Okay. Uh, Armor Extra, the Magnet Zone holding the Choice Scarf, Discharge, Murder Shop, Magnet Rise, and Signal Beam. Wild Turkey, our Strapter holding the Muscle Band with Bear Bird, Double Edge, Fly, Aerial Ace. Evian with the Choice Band, Aqua Tail, Crunch, Waterfall, Ice Fang. Jai the Sharpedo holding the Focus Sash, Crunch, Protect, Waterfall, and Taunt. And Martini the Golem holding the Metrodome with Rock Blast, Earthquake, Rock Climb, and Explosion. So the fight went as such. We led with Executor, took down Pikachu. Charizard came in. We switched to Gyarados. We took it out. Um, with a couple of choice branded aqua tails. And three. Then in came Blastoise. So I actually sacked, I just did another aqua tail and sacked uh, Evian. Brought in Magnazone there. Magnazone took down uh, Blastoise. Venusaur then came in. Afterwards, uh, which then we switched to, uh, sorry, Straptor. Hit it with a Brave Bird, took it out. Um, what do you call Think uh, Who came in next? Espeon came in there. We actually stayed in, did a Brave Bird, took it out as well. Final Pokemon was Snorlax. We stayed in with uh, Wild Turkey and Brave Bird uh, to kill ourselves a recoil to get some damage. And then we brought in Golem to just hit it with a few earthquakes and finish the job. So we lost two Pokemon. We lost um, Gyarados and we lost thing. But again, it's the end, the last fight, so I don't really care. But we did win. So we beat Pokemon Sacred Gold in two attempts. So I will, if I have time and uh, I can be annoyed, I will go back and do the fight again and just you know, redo it so that I have the, the evidence there. But um, I swear, I did definitely beat Red. I unfortunately lost the recording and it auto saves, so I can't go back. So, um, if you want me to redo the fight, um, let me know in the comments. I'll redo it and I uh, will go through that again. I'll go through Elite Four. Uh, I'll record that because the Elite Four are actually harder this time. So, I'll go through that as well. But um, I'm done with Secret Gold for now. So, two attempts down and got, got it, managed to do three. I've done very well. So, if you include the two deaths we had there, uh, it was only 18 deaths, which is not too bad. Um, and again, I stopped doing a lot of encounters because we had the perfect team, I thought anyway. So, But I must say, uh, a decent, uh, good um, ROM hack. Very easy. I mean, two attempts is very few attempts to do this in there. So uh, I must say, it could have been more difficult. But again, I think this is one of those uh, Dreyana ones that's not exactly massively hard. Uh, it's one of those base ones you, when you when you're into and you're getting into nuzz locking uh, and especially hardcore nuzz locking. Uh, it's one of the basic ones to go through. But I'm glad I did it. Uh, enjoyable experience, sir. Um, going to move on now. And there's a new platinum pl platinum Redux patch. I will go get that done eventually. But I want to move on to another gen. And you'll see in the next next playthrough what generation I'm going to be tackling uh, in our next hardcore nuzz lock challenge. But once again, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for your support. Um, if you can get more subscribers, and please share the video, like the video, share it around uh, for if you enjoy just something different for a bit of new hardcore nuzzle content. Please let me know there. And uh, 
Yeah, thanks, sir. Thank, thank you very much there. Take it easy. All the best and good luck. See you later. Bye-bye now.